Hi everybody, welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. So one of my favorite things to do in winter is to ice fish. And our friends at Husky Motors Canada has set us up with a really cool unit here because my favorite spot's about a mile out. So follow along, we're gonna go rip across the lake, but we're also gonna take this in the bush. We're gonna put on the max towing on this thing and show you how that does and just see overall, is it a snowmobile? Is it an ATV? Does it compare? We'll find out soon, stay tuned. So this unit we have here is the Husky. Now, some of you may have called it a snow dog, but that is actually a brand. This is a motorized sled unit made here by the Husky Motor Corporation Canada. And they actually make three models. They make this one, the Husky, then they make the Baby Husky, a smaller, lighter version, and then they make the Grandpa Husky, a larger, more powerful version. But the one we've got here today is powered by a 13 horsepower Honda engine with a maximum speed of 30 kilometers an hour. You can have a ton of fun as well as working. And we're gonna get to some working in a little bit. We're gonna go get some firewood out of the bush and we're gonna show you how much this thing will pull. Matt, how big is it? Why don't you tell them how big it is? Give them a sense for the size. Uh, overall, it is 58 inches long. It is only 25 inches wide, just over two feet, and it is about 30 inches high. Now, the motor sits slightly higher than the rail, so I don't know if that is taken into consideration of the height or if it's this rail, but even if it include, doesn't include the engine, 32 inches high. So one of the really cool features we found on this thing out here today is it's serviceability. It's super simple. I mean, you're already staring at the engine, but if you really want to get a sense of what else you have to do on this thing, two zippers and blammo, you're looking at everything. You've got your starter, you've got your battery, you've got your entire drive system, even your little brake caliper right there. You can do all the servicing right here, no fuss. Plus there's a little space here you could even put a toolkit in, take with you on the trail in case you have any kind of a breakdown, right? Um, Beyond that, everything else is right in front of you. In the back here behind the engine, you actually have this welded in bar with a little bit of a rubber pad. Now, this is, makes this unit fully customizable. You can put whatever you want back there. So Matt, how do you actually ride this thing? Once you get in, how the heck does it work? Well, the cockpit station, as you can see, kind of looks like my bike when I was 10. <laughs> it's super simple. On your handlebar here, this is your starter unit. You actually have your key, off, on, and start. Very simple. Right hand side is your throttle cable, the nice silver one here. And again, looks like my old bike, this plastic lever here, that is your brake as well as a small parking brake unit. It does recommend setting the parking brake whenever it's sitting here idling because with a basic primary secondary clutch setup, this thing does try to walk away. And it happened to us once very early this morning and it shocked us all a little bit. So you definitely wanna have that parking brake on when you're not using it. In addition to those two, all you have is a safety tether just in case you fall off. And uh, it has a fairly high center of gravity. So for the first few rides, definitely don't forget this thing. That's all I'm gonna tell you. So one of the advantages of the Husky is it only weighs 220 pounds. So you don't need a ramp, you don't need a trailer, you just need a big buddy and you can load it in the truck. And we should also point out, this is just a short bed truck on this short bed on this Colorado. And she goes right in and closes. And you can even get the sleds in there too. You can see a shot of that right here. All your gear, one truck bed, no trailer. Woo! So we've been out here riding this Husky this afternoon. And I gotta say, this thing is a blast. It's certainly been growing on me the longer we're out here. Um, one thing that we keep coming back to is, you have to ride this machine. There is no power steering, limited suspension travel, and obviously I got no suspension travel back here, but that kind of makes it fun. It almost makes it pure. You're ripping up and down the trails here and you see an obstacle coming and you're preparing, you're moving, you're leaning, you're up, you're down, you're getting ready for what's coming at you. But this thing eats up the terrain out here. I mean, 
it's rated for, it's designed for snow. It's designed for snow. We hit a couple of dry patches out here today and it kind of bogs down, but it catches up with itself and it just rips down these trails. I mean, I, I, I'm having fun. I'm having genuine fun and it's a hard thing to kind of keep under wraps. So this Husky comes with launch control. This is the control, this is the launch. Here we go. This thing has a fairly high center of gravity. We've got a tractor and a dozer and trucks out here, so there's lots of ruts in our trails. And um, we'll cut to a shot here of uh, my old man picking himself up off the ground. So everybody, look, I did this already too. It's easy to roll this thing over. It's really slow speed. And I guess the good news, Dad, is that all you gotta do is roll it back. <laughs> it's no problem at all, because it's so lightweight. Yeah, and then walk it out of here. Yeah, I'm sure all that's hurt is your ego. No. <laughs> So coming up here in the trail, we've actually got a 90 degree bend and I just wanted to show you, even in tighter areas, this thing is quite maneuverable. You gotta be a little strong to turn it, but it is gonna make the turn. And I mean, all terrain includes wood, right? Let's go get some firewood. One of the cool benefits is the size of this machine. You can really pick your line through really tight trails. Like, I guess we hadn't really intended on, you know, blocking the trail with that tree, but we didn't have a choice. So in an effort to get to where we need to go today, I have options. Now, given I'm not a bodybuilder, but if I had to guess, I'd say these are probably about 75 pounds a piece. Oh, some type of a hardwood. So we got three logs in there. Let's call that, give or take, 200 pounds. Oh, it struggled a little to get going. But on snow, it's nothing. Not even working hard. And here we go. Well, folks, here comes the max towing test. We've got two Elmers, a bunch of wood. Let's see how she feels. All right, here we go. unit going to cost you? Well, the Husky here as it sits starts at $4,000, but that is for the pull start version and the little pull start cord is just hidden behind that panel there. Or for $4,300, you get the electric start. And what you get is for that money is the base unit. Behind the unit though, that's when things get a little interesting. You can order and source parts through Husky themselves, sleds, seats, everything else, or you can go crazy, build your own trailers, build your own sleds, have all kinds of stuff. But Husky does have an accessory page. Steve's gonna show it to you here and they offer all kinds of things to attach to your unit. So we've been out here riding the Husky all day and everybody's had a fair bit of seat time with it. And I guess the question I gotta ask everybody is, would you buy this unit with your own money? Well, it's definitely a tricky question because for about $4,000, you'd get a pretty nice used snowmobile. But the answer for me is yes. I love how lightweight this thing is. I love how simple it is. You can get to everything. The, the, uh, the uniqueness of this machine is enough that I would buy it because it's definitely not a snowmobile. <laughs> well, how about you, Dad? It's definitely a utility driven machine, very single purpose. You're the ice fisherman, you're a trapper, you want to collect maple syrup, you like to work in the bush. And the whole key thing here is for me, I get it, is if you're doing stuff by yourself, because you can handle this machine by yourself. You can load it and unload it by yourself. So frankly, if you're somebody who has no friends, this is your machine. <laughs> And from the standpoint of I like to go ice fishing, I mean, this thing is a buy for me. I don't even know if I need this one. I might look at the baby unit compared to this one, save a few bucks and accomplish the same thing. But just from that standpoint alone, this is a wicked unit. It fits in my truck. I can take it anywhere I want and I don't need to bring these two. <laughs> well, you don't have any friends either. I don't have any friends. <laughs> That's why you need it. <laughs> so at the end of this one, all I can really say is this Husky, you're gonna have to make the choice for yourself. 
Is it as fun as riding a snowmobile all day long? No. But are you out here, you know, riding it in between jobs and, you know, having a little bit of fun and giggling to yourself along the way? Absolutely. It's fun. It does a ton of work and it's dead simple. And of course, a third, a, qu a quarter of the price of a modern snowmobile. So ultimately, guys, you got to make the choice for yourself. Well, that's it for this one, folks. So why don't you go below, let us know what you think of this thing, and let us know if you want us to see us test more of these types of things in the future. And while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, check out that join button while you're down there, and then come on back to the Truck King channel to see what we're testing next. See you later.